Randy's at the bottom of a steep learning curve. I haven't seen anything like that. He's never flown a Dornier, and he's got just two days to learn. Aircraft flight manual here. Your standing operating procedures. The uh, company operations manual is there. Looks pretty bad, man. <laughs> it is a lot of info. It's <laughs> a lot of reading. There is, but uh, you're an airline pilot, man. You can figure it out. It's like a fire hose in the mouth. It's a lot of information, and you got to take it in as quickly as you can get it. Layout. We got our normal checklist here. All right, so where's the autopilot at? We don't have autopilot, so. There's no autopilot on this plane? So we're gonna hand fly this thing like 9,000 miles. <laughs> I didn't know that. On top of having to learn all the emergency procedures, normal procedures and everything else, now I've got to be going back, reverting back to my old flying and, and having to concentrate on just flying the airplane. I don't think I've flown a plane like this without an autopilot or flight director since 10, 15 years ago. It's just a different style of fly. This is all hands and feet, so you do get lazy. I mean, I flew for the airlines, and, and yeah, you, you lose your nat your hands and feet flying. And here, it's all we do. We don't have autopilots, so you know we're landing on some, you know, sometimes a 1,500 foot ice strip. So you're really flying the bus. You know the old saying: you can make you know hundreds of errors, but you just can't make any mistakes. You now, if he can't do the job, then he's not going. It's as simple as that. Company 207. So seven, this company, go ahead. Taxing out for training flight with Randy. To ace this test, Randy has to respond to every tilt and roll of the plane. It's all about having the perfect touch. All right, Ben, it's your plane. Just back around, get used to it. Seven. Seven. I expect it to be a little more stable, to be honest. This ain't no boat. The Dornier is old school flying. All hands and feet, no autopilot. Randy puts the Dornier through its paces, turns, climbs, and some of the scarier stuff. You want to run a stall or something, or just call stall max power? Stall max power. We're set. Climbing right out of it pretty good. Yeah, you don't need to pitch for it at all. Yeah. It'll, just, it'll just power right through it. Well, for no autopilot, you're doing pretty good, man. When I, <laughs> no V bar, we're talking about no flight directors. I'm like, I'm actually going to have to start flying again. I was expecting him to be rusty, especially on his altitude control. He was nailing his altitude. Even in a steep turn, I'm looking, and he's got it just on the rails going around the corner. Randy's hand flying is impressive. But the most challenging part is just ahead. The Dornier was built for balance. Heavy cargo in the rear, and passenger bags in a specially designed nose. Putting that nose down gently takes a skillful hand. The nose is gonna wanna drop out on you. So you gotta really catch it, okay? Don't let it just go bang. Just feel it. The nose will come down, let it just sort of drop by itself, and then just check it back hard. Plus plus 15, looking good. I'm looking sweet. Very nice, sir. How's that standing, brother? Thanks, man. I was working for it, though. I, I gotta what. say, I was working for it. Randy's earned his seat on the Dornier. 